Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Levi and welcome to the channel. It's my favorite time of year, it's fall time and I got some time off work, so it's only right to drop a new video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing off some new and old helmet length pieces that I've acquired over the last couple of months and pretty much just styling them with other pieces that I have. So this video is kind of like a continuation of my previous helmet length video, uh, my um, collection, but I have newer pieces, and I, I would probably consider these permanent pieces that I'm going to be keeping, honestly, for a while, a couple years, I would say. My end goal is to have like a specific curation of pieces that I will never get tired of, and I could wear years to come and stuff. So before we get into the video, if you could please drop me a like and comment which outfit is your favorite, I would greatly appreciate it. I would love to hear um, the feedback. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So how this video is going to work is I'm going to show off the pieces and briefly go into a description of them and then it's going to cut to probably an on body of me wearing it. Alright, so first up for the outfit we got this Spring Summer 2004 Cafe Racer Jacket in a beautiful beige color made of a nice thick cotton um, ribbing on the back right here. We got plenty of zipper details, two on the uh, chest, one main. We got uh, one on each sleeve. Also features a button closure on the top. On the back, there's a pretty interesting detail. The fabric cuts in, so it looks like it's about to be, it could probably be a vest if the sleeves weren't attached. So if you can imagine this just as a vest, that's what it looks like it was going to originally be, but. Um, helmet added sleeves. For under the jacket, we have this spring summer 2003 bondage long sleeve with pocket detailing. I've showed this off in my uh, last video I did, my pickups video. Um, I'll briefly go through it again. So we got the two pockets on the chest, uh, two pockets on the stomach, two pockets on the um, elbow. And then lastly, we have the bondage on the cuff. This is more of like a thumb loop and not like a hand strap. So it looks pretty good, you know, classic on line detail. All right, and lastly, we got um, Autumn Winter 1999 wax coated denim. Um, so the story behind these is the wax has pretty much been removed through wear and wash and everything. Um, I bought them with hardly any wax um, on them. You can kind of see like wax sh shimmers just a little bit if you look down the leg and the sun right is just right. You can see a little bit of wax still on there or coating, whatever you want to call it. These are just such a beautiful pair of jeans now. I mean, the release pin, whiskering, beautiful whiskering on the front, honeycombing that uh, goes on the back of the knee kind of towards the front of the knee too. And last but not least, we're wearing I'm going to be wearing my Guidi 796Z backset boots. Um, I've had these for almost a year. It's a year uh, to this month that I bought these. And I'm telling you, these are, if you are looking to buy Guidi's, definitely, definitely, definitely invest in them. They are worth the price, in my opinion. I'm going to be wearing these on foot. So let's get right into the outfit. to outfit number two, Autumn Winter 1999 uh, padded parka coat. It's not a goose down. Um, I've seen some people call it goose down, but it's not goose down. It's not as thick as a goose down jacket. It's just super padded. Uh, pretty cool hood. Kind of get a, just a little peek of the hood, how it fits on the head. Insulate on the inside, an extra pocket right here, the Velcro, 1999, so pretty good season for uh, helmets work. Next up, spring summer 2004 vintage broken denim. Um, it's labeled a low waist contour fit. This is without a doubt the softest home lane denim I've ever owned. Uh, I've never had a uh, broken denim before and I want to get more now because it literally feels like moleskin. I have never felt denim this soft before. 
And lastly, I'm gonna be wearing the Guidis again, so here's the second outfit. All right, next up, we're gonna be going full. Almost sold 2003. So first up, spring summer 2003 slash 10 t-shirt or shirt. Man, I can't even tell you how long I've been hunting for this, this exact version and this color. I found it on Yahoo Auctions about a month ago, and I'm not even gonna say the price I got it for. I got it, I got it for a steal. I'm not gonna just say that I got it for a steal. And it had the original tag on there, so, um, I consider myself super lucky, super, super lucky to find a piece with brand new tags. Any detail is obviously the slash hem. The hem is kind of rolling from where it was slashed. So if you can imagine it kind of like that. Yeah, this is like an iconic helmet line runway piece that you'll see. Next up is the piece that I just showed earlier, uh, spring summer 2003. Um, bondage long sleeve with a pocket detailing. And finally, um, the uh, vintage broken denim. I'll be layering t-shirt over the long sleeve so I'll have the bondage action going on here right now. For the footwear, I'm probably gonna be uh, just wearing vintage combat boots. These have been like my go-to boots before my Gleeties. I wore these all the time. Still wear them pretty fr uh, frequently. I highly recommend some vintage combat boots if you guys do not have any. Here is outfit number three. All right, next up is one of my personal favorites, probably for the video. Spring, summer, 1999 sanded denim jacket. This was in my um, original collection video. If you guys haven't seen that video, please go check it out. Um, I spent a lot of time on that video and it turned out really good. This is, yeah, one of my favorite pieces in my collection just because of the wear on it. So you can see the um, fading on the sleeve right there. Super beautiful fading all over with the sanded detailing going on. Um, two pockets, pointed collar, says the year on the tag. Next up, we got a pair of vintage stained denim from spring, summer 2000. Uh, I, I reached out to Endema to try to get his, um, his guess on the year and he wasn't sure either. So what I could gather is I could, I found some tags and stuff and people were had similar denim saying it's from uh, 2000 and I'm assuming it's spring, summer because a lot of spring, summer um, items kind of have colors like these. So we're gonna go with spring, summer 2000. Really wanted stained denim, especially this color, because this color is um, super hard to find. Everything normal for helmet length denim. Coin pocket, two pockets, two pockets in the back. And for the shoes, we're gonna go kind of with the theme of the items. And we're gonna go with my um, cowboy boots from Lou. Luches, L-U-C-C-H-E-S-S, -S, or E-S-E. So these are called the Sanded um, Shark Cowboy Boots. I've had these for a while, and when I first bought them, they were so stiff, but they fit really good now. Without further ado, let's get into the outfit. Next up is going to be a more formal outfit, I would say. Next up, we got a spring summer 1998 painted stripe military shirt. I actually got this tailored to kind of fit me perfectly because it's originally um, it's a size 50, I think. Yeah, size 50. So I've got this to kind of fit me because I want to keep this for as long as possible. The main attraction is the painted stripe on the back. It's not like the rubber painted stripe, it's more of like a cotton stripe sewn onto the back. Really love this piece. You don't see this piece too often. And when it is on the market, I feel like it sells pretty fast and for a good reason. 
And for the denim that I'll be pairing it with, it's gonna be these spring summer 1999 classic cut denim and a gray washed out color. Not much to say, these are like the classic Hummelang denim that you'll see on like every selling site. So I've had these for going on three years um, and a couple months. Um, I wear them sparingly, I don't wear them all the time, but yeah, I do get my wear out of them. And for the shoes, I'll probably just throw on the weedy back zips, so here is the outfit. So for the top, the spring summer 2003 slash hem t-shirts, spring summer 2003 bondage long sleeve with detail in the pockets. And for the new piece for the dog outfits, it's going to be a spring summer 2004 cotton bondage jacket. The material is like a cotton, but it has like a sheen to it. So if you catch it on the right lighting, it kind of looks a little shiny. And of course the uh, bondage element on the bottom. You can see along the back right here where it's reinforced stitching. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna be like too much drooping down with the other t-shirt, but I guess we're gonna find out. There's how it's attached to the earring right there. I used to have a white jacket um, that had the actual like backpack that you could like wear as a backpack, but I sold it because I just, I never got any wear out of it. And I was looking for more of a practical piece that I would wear and a black jacket is something that I'm gonna wear. So, along with the autumn winter 1999 wax coated denim. And for the shoes, I'll probably just throw on the Gwees. Again, the Gwees just go with everything. So, yeah, here is the outfit. Last outfit of the video. Um, we got the Grail helmet piece for me personally. The spring summer 2004 double leather sleeve denim jacket, or you can call it um, a hybrid jacket. I've seen that some people call it both. Yeah, I showed this off and again my um, main collection video. I'll go over the details again for the jacket briefly. So we got the super, super soft lamb uh, leather for the sleeves and the classic helmet laying uh, denim for the body, along with some corduroy on the collar. You can kind of wear it up like this. Here's a closer look at the collar. Probably my favorite piece in my collection. And lastly, for the pants, we're gonna be wearing the vintage stained denim for the bottoms. I like I mentioned, I'll be wearing probably um, it did combat boots again. I think it'll look pretty good. So this is gonna be the last outfit of the video. All right, so this pretty much concludes the video for today. Um, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching this video, it means a lot to me a lot goes a lot of thinking goes into these videos so if you guys could drop a like and comment what your favorite outfit was or piece was from the video um, i'd love to hear you guys input thank you guys again for tuning in i really means a lot when you guys like these videos and you message me on instagram let me know i like the videos i mean that makes me want to keep making videos so uh thank you guys for all the support of the channel i mean we're at like 500 uh, subscribers now. That's awesome. I would love to get to a thousand. But for now, this is goodbye. You guys take care. See ya.